The universe is a vast and mysterious place, and as we gaze up at the stars, we are left with more questions than answers. One such question that has captured the imagination of scientists and enthusiasts alike is the mystery surrounding KIC 846, or more commonly known as Tabby's star. This star has been causing quite a stir in the scientific community due to its unusual and erratic behavior, which has led some to speculate that it may be a sign of an extraterrestrial civilization building some Something around the star. In this video, we will explore the mystery of Tabby's star and the evidence that suggests a civilization may be responsible for its strange behavior. Tabby's star was first discovered in 2015 by astronomer Tabitha Boyajian and her team, who were using data collected by NASA's Kepler telescope. They noticed that the star's brightness was fluctuating in a strange and irregular pattern, unlike anything they had seen before. Further analysis revealed that the star's brightness was dimming by up to 22%, which is a significant amount considering that most stars only fluctuate by 1% or less. Tabby's star, officially known as KIC, 846-2852 is located in the Cygnus constellation, about 1,280 light years away from Earth. The fluctuations in brightness caught the attention of astronomers because they were unlike any natural phenomena that had been observed before. Typically, when a planet passes in front of a star, the star's brightness dims by a small amount, which is a regular and predictable pattern. However, the fluctuations seen in Tabby's star were much larger, and the pattern was irregular and inconsistent. Initially, astronomers thought that there might be some instrumental or data processing error, but the pattern persisted even after extensive analysis. This led to a hypothesis that there might be something orbiting the star, blocking its light, but this explanation also fell short since the pattern did not fit any natural object or phenomena. The discovery of Tabby's star quickly gained attention in the media and among the scientific community, prompting further observations and investigations to uncover the cause of its unusual behavior. Since the discovery of Tabby's star, scientists have been working hard to explain its unusual behavior. One theory is that the star is surrounded by a cloud of dust and debris, which is causing the dimming. Another theory is that the star is being orbited by a large planet with an irregular orbit that is blocking some of the star's light. While the theories of a dust cloud or large planet orbiting Tabby's star were initially considered plausible, they have been mostly ruled out as possible explanations for the star's behavior. One of the main issues with the dust cloud theory is that it would not cause such a significant and irregular dimming pattern. Dust clouds would typically cause a gradual and steady dimming of a star's brightness, while Tabby's star has shown sudden and unpredictable drops in brightness. The theory of a large planet orbiting Tabby's star also has its challenges. First, a planet would not be large enough to cause such a significant dimming of the star's brightness. Second, the dimming pattern observed would suggest an irregular orbit that is not consistent with the laws of planetary motion. Other natural explanations that have been proposed include the possibility of a swarm of comets passing in front of the star, or a disk of gas and dust that is obscuring its light. However, both of these theories also face difficulties in explaining the precise and irregular dimming patterns of Tabby's star. The Kardashev scale is a way of categorizing civilizations based on their level of technological advancement. It is named after Nikolai Kardashev, a Russian astrophysicist who first proposed the concept in 1964. The scale is based on the amount of energy a civilization is able to harness and use. The scale is divided into three main categories, each representing a higher level of energy consumption and technological sophistication. The first category is a Type 1 civilization, which is capable of harnessing all the energy available on its home planet. This includes using renewable energy sources like wind, solar, and geothermal power, as well as tapping into the planet's core for geothermal energy. A Type 1 civilization would also have the ability to control natural disasters such as earthquakes and hurricanes, and would have a global communication network. This type of civilization is still hypothetical and does not currently exist on Earth. A Type 2 civilization is capable of harnessing the energy of its home star. This could be achieved through technologies like a Dyson Sphere, which would surround the star and capture its energy. A Type II civilization would have access to enormous amounts of energy, which could be used for things like interstellar travel, 
terraforming other planets and powering supercomputers. A Type 3 civilization is capable of harnessing the energy of its entire galaxy. This would require an enormous amount of energy and would likely involve the use of technologies we can only imagine at this point. A Type 3 civilization could potentially control things like black holes and could use the energy from entire stars to power their civilization. It's important to note that the Kardashev scale is a hypothetical concept and no civilization has yet been confirmed to exist at any of these levels. However, the scale provides a useful framework for thinking about the potential future of human technological development and the potential for other advanced civilizations to exist elsewhere in the universe. Given Tabby Star's unusual behavior and the failure to find a natural explanation for it, some scientists have begun to speculate that it may be a sign of an extraterrestrial civilization, specifically, a civilization that is building a megastructure or Dyson sphere around the star to harness its energy. While this may seem like like science fiction, it is not entirely impossible, especially if we consider the Kardashev scale and the potential for advanced civilizations to harness energy on a massive scale. The idea that Tabby Star could be the site of an extraterrestrial civilization is based on the possibility that a civilization could use the star's energy to power their technological needs. As previously mentioned, the Kardashev scale proposes that advanced civilizations are capable of harnessing energy on a massive scale, which includes the construction of megastructures or Dyson spheres. A Dyson sphere is a theoretical megastructure that would completely surround a star, allowing a civilization to capture all of its energy output. While the idea of a Dyson sphere may sound like science fiction, it is actually based on solid physics and engineering principles. In fact, Scientists have already proposed a number of designs for building a Dyson sphere, including a swarm of solar panels or a shell made of reflective material. So, if an extraterrestrial civilization was building a Dyson sphere around Tabby Star, what would be the evidence? One possibility is the irregular dimming of the star's brightness that was observed by Boyajian and her team. A Dyson sphere would cause the star's light to fluctuate in an irregular pattern, similar to what was observed. Additionally, the lack of a natural explanation for the dimming supports the idea that there may be an artificial structure surrounding the star. However, it is important to note that the idea of an extraterrestrial civilization building a megastructure around Tabby's star is still a hypothesis and has not been confirmed. While it is a possibility, it is also possible that there is another natural explanation for the star's behavior that we have yet to discover. Regardless of whether Tabby's star is the site of an extraterrestrial civilization, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence continues to be an important area of research for scientists. The discovery of life beyond Earth would have profound implications for our understanding of the universe and our place in it. Studying Tabby's star has proven to be a significant challenge due to its distance from Earth and the limitations of our current technology. The star is located 1,400 light years away which means that the light fluctuations we are currently observing are almost 1,500 years old. Additionally, the Kepler telescope, which was used to observe the star, has since been retired due to technical difficulties. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative and interesting, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel for more mind-blowing content like this. Your support means a lot to us and it motivates us to keep creating more amazing videos for you. So. Don't forget to hit that notification bell as well to stay updated on our latest uploads. Thank you again for your time and we'll see you in the next video.